sometimes you have placements that are super grateful for the opportunities. Um, and then you have placements that, like Christian was saying earlier, um, they might, might not want the help. They've had to maybe grow up on the streets or they've had to pretty much raise themselves or they've had to take care of their, their parents. Um, and so they might be kind of beyond independent. But then, you know, you might have one of their family members reach out to you later and talk about how you are the most valuable person in that child's life, even though they've been gone from your house for years. Um, and that, that gets you. And um, so you know that you're making a difference, uh, especially with teenagers, you might not always hear it, um, but, but you know that you're making a difference. We, you know, in our placements, we have kids who have never, uh, never learned to swim. They've never been, you know, ridden a horse. They've never been camping. They've never been to a theme park. They've never been to the beach. They've never been to the mountains. Um, all of those things. And we've been able to allow them to experience those things. And the way their faces light up, whether they want to admit to you that they are having the time of their lives or not, you can see it. And so they might not verbalize it because they may have a fierce loyalty to their bio parents. They might not verbalize it because they have, um, you know, anger or hurt still, but you can see it on them. And so that, um, that, that pays you back tenfold. Yeah. It's great to see the sparkle in their eyes mm -hmm. um, um, when they, you know, things we take for granted, um, going to the beach or going to the mountains or getting new clothes for, getting the, first new time. Clothes for the first time. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, um, many of these kids don't, they don't experience the normal things um, most kids do. Uh, so it's, it's good to see that.